There's always something going on here at Old McCaskill's Farm, and I'm so excited to learn more with Hannah. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you for having me. So you've got a really big event coming up this Saturday. Tell us about it. Yeah, so that is Fall Farm Day. Um, it's actually our 15th year doing it. Um, and what we kind of do is, it, originally my grandmother had started it to recreate a day um, in the life of what it was to be on a farm without tractors and machines and all of that. Um, so we've added things here and there since then. So we have, of course, the pumpkin patch, hay rides, horseback rides, um, but we also do different live demonstrations. So we have blacksmith, um, woodworking, um, we have uh, people doing lab demos, um, lots of different things. We do an ice cream churn and people get to try, you know, homemade ice cream. Wow. Um, so it's a lot of different things going on for sure. Yeah. Is this like one of your biggest events of the year, would you say? It's definitely our biggest event. Biggest. Um, we have another one in the spring, kind of the same thing, but it's geared around sheep. It's mm -hmm. basically a sheep festival. Um, but this one's a lot bigger because people just like fall in a farm and just goes well together. Absolutely. <laughs> what should people know about this event? What time do they need to show up? Do they need to RSVP? Anything like that? Yeah, so um, it is October 5th from 10 to 4. Um, we do sell pre-sale tickets. Those work well. You get to skip the lines. So mm -hmm. we do have those on our Facebook and our website. Um, and it's $8 to get in. Pre-sale is $7 before the date. Um, so yeah, we kind of try to push that a little bit. Another big part of what you do here are field trips. Yeah, we are October is definitely our biggest year, our biggest month for field trips. Um, it is a big thing. We take them on a tour around the farm so they get interaction with each animal. Um, they learn how the animal gives back to us and how we use the animals, so like the horses, how they used to till the gardens and stuff like that. Um, and then they are able to play different activities that we have set up on the farm and eat lunch. So those are a big thing for sure. And Old McCaskill's farm also serves as a venue for a lot of events too. Yeah, so we will rent out the place to um, like birthday parties, tours, um, if you want to just have lunch with your family, we do that. Um, we have lunch every Friday as well. So different things, we're always up for any idea that anybody has. We'll, uh, we'll usually let it happen. And this is really the perfect place for a lot of different events. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a family-centered place. Great, and you do have smaller events throughout the year too. Give us some examples of what those could look like. Yeah, so um, we do a bunch of live music events. Those are my favorite, um, where we just have live music and people can come out and listen on the farm for a different um, experience. And then we have a bar and brunch where we have a bar class and then brunch afterwards. Um, and then we have our country Christmas shopping where we have different local um, artisans and vendors set up all throughout the farm in the house too. Um, and it's kind of a different shopping experience, something you wouldn't find anywhere else. Um, and little different things here and there too. So. Now we've got to talk about this super cozy house that we're sitting in right now. People can actually come stay here. Yeah, so this is a bed and breakfast. We have four rooms. Each has their own bathroom. Um, it's got a balcony. You're welcome to roam around and see all the animals and you'll probably be greeted with Corgi. Um, but we do a farm to table breakfast in the mornings, every morning. Um, and we don't have a minimum stay or anything. It's just kind of at your leisure. Yeah, and you do weddings as well. We do, we want to do more. Um, so we have one this year, um, mid-October. So those are, they're always fun. That'll be beautiful, oh yeah. my gosh. Anything else that people should know about events that you guys put on or when they can come take a look at the farm? Yeah, so they can um, always check out our Facebook page and our um, website. Also, we have a newsletter they can hop on on our website as well, but those are our two main sources for sure. Wonderful. Thanks so much for having us. Of course. Thank you.